During the holiday break, things really slow down, and we have a time to reflect on our past year. Some of us think about the things we did and didn't accomplish during the year. We might come up with a million things that we want to do going into the new year to quote unquote reinvent ourselves. But whether or not we actually accomplish these goals is almost always as unpredictable as the rando teammates we get in ranked queue. Yeah, can you play smokes? Yeah, I got it. I kept reading tweets like, gamers will be all, new year, new me, then play 16 ranked games. And boy, if that didn't feel relatable, cause we've all been there before. And so that's why I'm making this video. You see, I have this theory that we actually have all the experience and knowledge and skill sets as gamers to actually crush our New Year's resolutions, which is why I'm going to show you my system that I've built for this upcoming year so that you can actually knock out the things you've always wanted to do. Hi, if you don't know who I am, my name is Joe, and I've been in the coaching and youth mentorship in the gaming and esports space since 2016. So let's get started, and let me help you unlock that gamer brain of yours. Step one is pulling something out to write with, because we're about to make a quest log. Studies show that writing things out is more effective, so go ahead and skip the keyboard here, and don't worry, I'm not gonna judge your penmanship. I think the key is to set up your resolution or goal kind of like a quest or game worth completing. Think about it. Why do we play the games we play? Why do we beat them? What compels us to actually go through the difficulties, the challenges to actually get them done? It's because it compels us enough to actually take action. So set a timer for three minutes and think to yourself, what are some end results you want out of this next year? What do you think would improve your life? What are some characteristics you want to be known for? What's something you've always wanted to do, but haven't given the time and attention to? Let's say you want to hit a new peak rank in your favorite esports game. Write that down. Or maybe you want to go learn Japanese so you can watch your favorite anime without having to look at the subtitles. Write that down too. Whatever compels you. Heck, if you want to go find a date because it's been two years of COVID and you haven't been out of your house in so long, Write it down, you got this, man. <laughs> After you've filled out your list, it's time to choose one as a main quest. And I really mean just one. What's the one thing on this list that trumps the rest satisfying you the most? Circle it, because this is the one thing that must be done in order to win your New Year's resolution game. For my game, Joe Chi 2022, my main quest is to build out my YouTube channel in this new year so that I can help gamers like you and their families grow and learn together when it comes to gaming and overall wellness. I wanna make a brand for myself, and this is the one goal that I've set aside as my priority this year. All of the other items you wrote on your list are now secondary quests. Completing these objectives by the end of the year is just icing on the cake to your main quest for the new year. Whatever you've decided your main quest is for this upcoming year, we still have to take it into step number two, which is breaking it down into quest objectives. It's important we make specific, manageable, and measurable steps and tackle them a little bit at a time. Could you imagine if we played a sandbox open world game and gave absolutely no guidance to beat the game? Or if it listed every single objective in the main quest line all at the beginning, all at one go? It'd be too much, it's ridiculous. In my example of creating a strong YouTube channel, let's say 5,000 subscribers, the first thing I would have to do is create a channel, then I'd have to write a script, then I'd have to record and edit a video, engage with the comments, then I'd have to do this consistently, then I could maybe hire an editor, and so on and so forth. Let's say your main quest is actually a goal that you're unsure of how to complete. That's okay. A step or objective that you can make is actually going out to find that mentor, to find that resource, and that's going to help you learn what you need to learn so that you can go ahead and hit your goal. Our last step to dominating our new year as gamers is to make the situation more interesting by finding a reward or raising the stakes. One of the most basic motivators for us to do what we need to do in gaming is in pursuit of a reward. 
We want the shiny loot, the splashy victory screen, and it's worth celebrating or rewarding ourselves for our milestones. Pick a reward that doesn't break the bank or send you backwards on your goals, like pigging out after completing your first weight loss exercise quest. Another method instead of a reward is to put something at stake. So back when I couldn't go a day without playing video games, I would use that as the thing at risk, right? And it's, yeah, not as exciting as adding a shiny new piece of loot or reward for yourself, but sometimes that could be more motivating if the thing that's at risk or at stake is just something you can't live without. Whether you choose putting something at stake or going with a reward, it's important to actually celebrate these small milestones. Don't just save the reward till the very end. You want to reward yourself along the way, because if you're losing 100% of the time on your journey, you might get so discouraged from continuing that you might give up altogether on your main quest. So again, along the way. And that's it. Now, I know it's a really simple process to determine your main goal your main quest for the year, but the more challenging part is actually getting up and taking action and doing it, kind of like what I'm doing here making this YouTube video. Don't forget that no matter what system you utilize to hit your New Year's resolutions, it's ultimately up to you to decide to take the action. And you've done it before. You've played so many games. You've completed so many achievements. You can do the same exact thing for your IRL main quest this year. And by the way, please feel free to drop a comment about what your main quest is for this upcoming year. I'm genuinely very curious as to what you all are thinking. And if you could, pretty please spend that time to hit that like button because it helps me out so much when I spend hours making a video like this and you click on that button for two seconds, it helps me get noticed by other people on the internet. So thank you for watching if you still are at this point, and I'll see you in the next video.